Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I am here with a full sketchbook. It's kind of started to come apart just a little bit. So <laughs> this is actually an Illo sketchbook and they're my favorite new sketchbooks. Uh, they didn't ask me to shout this out or anything. It's just that I really prefer using the Illo sketchbook now. Yep, see, the whole binding's coming out because I ripped so many out already. All right, so about sketchbooks is a lot of it is unfinished and a lot isn't. So what I have here is, I thought it would be cute, um, my boyfriend and my Patronus from Harry Potter is a tabby cat and his is a magpie, so I started to draw this and I just never finished it. Uh, never finished this because we got, what, Minnie and a dragon. No, <laughs> we have a parrot mermaid and then some weird looking geeky dude. All right. <laughs> and we have Ariel. We have Ariel with Dorian Flounder. I thought that was, that was cute. And then here's Giselle from Enchanted. Oh, and then I did this for like body proportions. You got this little short dude right here. Tall dude, and then this wide lady, and then this one that looks like she jumped out of the 80s. And then they've got me off to the side looking at different body proportions. And then this is me trying to figure out how to draw my boyfriend and how to get him into a character mode. That one was like, these two were my favorites. Um, but it's really difficult trying to figure out how to draw him. We got Aladdin and Jasmine, and I really didn't like this one, so I drew it again. See, I drew them again, and then there's just a bunch of notes, and then we've got, see, I just didn't like this one, so I did this one. And I think it was because I just thought Aladdin's eyes were so off. And then we've got Catbug. Uh, Catbug, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We've got Cat Noir and Ladybug, but I did it in the pose of Cinderella. So ink is really, so I drew this one and I didn't like the way that it turned out because of his face being all bunched up. I was trying to do a little bit more perspective. I like the hand, but I don't like how I did his face. So I drew them again next to each other. And a little sketchbook actually holds watercolor really well because this is watercolor. And then this is ink. We've got Jim and Pam from the office. And this is watercolor too. I thought this is so cute. And then this was like a three color challenge and we had to pick an animal to draw. So I drew a mermaid with a whale. So my boyfriend started this joke that my dog was Snowbutt. So Snowbutt became my dog. <laughs> and so my kids from my cartoon art class, maybe I had them draw snow butt. So <laughs> here's all like the adventures going on down here. And this kid's just like really good. And this was just another one of the kids. But Cole is my favorite because look, at he just drew snow butt all over. Look, so here's snow butt with a mermaid tail and here's more snow butt going on. He is my absolute favorite student ever. And he's so talented and he has this captain underpants kind of style. And here's my version of snow butt. Probably need to lower that. There you go. Now you can see it kind of because it's just lightly scribbled on. Um, and then here is Esmeralda and Quasimodo. And if you listen to the musical, it's like on top of the world. And this is what I was trying to depict. And I just didn't like the way it was turning out. So I stopped. I do that a lot. But that's what sketchbooks are for. Is that you start a piece and then you never finish it. But you have it there to look back on. And I just never try to redo it again. And then here's my boyfriend again. I hate the way that I did his hands. Absolutely hated them. So I'm still working on his character. And then I've got Rapunzel. This is the original concept sketch from Glen Keane. So I thought I'd go ahead and doodle it myself. And then here is Anastasia. Uh, I don't really like this at all, just because I smeared the ink way too much and nothing was really making a darker layer. Um, this is from a YouTube video where I showed you my favorite sketching tools and she's receiving the text. And there's me and my boyfriend, but I never fully finished it. Once again, I just try to draw stuff, never really fully finish it, but I thought it was super cute. 
And then I've got a little doodle of Rapunzel. Let's turn up the brightness on this so you can see it a little bit more. But I didn't mean to make her really dark up here just because the light, well, I wanted it to be dark and I wanted it to, like the light source was going upwards. So here's Rapunzel and this is watercolor as well. And this is after I saw Black Panther. Froze like an antelope in the headlights. <laughs> uh, this is a picture. I read the book Cinder and I'm currently on Scarlet. It's just I really haven't had time to sit down and read and hopefully I get to do that a lot more this summer. So here's Cinder and there's Ico. Such a good book. I totally recommend it. If you're looking for summer reads, read the whole Lunar Chronicles. Um, I was trying perspective, didn't really work. Oh, I tried to draw um, T'Challa and his sister and I just didn't like the skin tone. I just thought that I wasn't really doing it correctly and I made them a little too dark so I stopped and I have to redo that one because I really thought that was super cute. And there's my boyfriend again. I still don't know what I'm doing with his character. I'm still trying to figure it out, figure him out and how to draw him. Um, this was a superhero idea that I had and this was just totally off and body proportions are wrong. Oh, and then this was just for fun, but this is, um, the other side from The Greatest Showman. So there's Hugh Jackman and Zac Efron, so P.T. and, um, the Carlisle. What's his name? I forgot his name already! <laughs> but they were just singing to each other and, I don't know, I kind of stopped, but I was just, I was just really just doodling just for fun but it, you could see it's just a normal sketching pencil. Okay, and then my, so once again, my boyfriend is a really huge visual learner, and so when he was asking about Nick Wilde's costume for our Dapper Day outfits, he asked me if I could draw out each of my ideas, and this was my original idea, and then this was something like to kind of tone this down because the orange was so bright, and he wasn't really sure if he really wanted to be this bright when he went to Dapper Day, so I came up with a solution like, well, we could do this instead of this. This was my original idea, and this is a substitute idea just to kind of like, you know, just to, just to like compromise over it. <laughs> we got Doodle, Nala, and Simba. Blank page, all right, and then I drew doggies. I drew Cap and Winter Soldier as doggos. So you've got Bucky and Steve and Golden Retriever. And I was thinking like a white wolf because he was called the white wolf at the end of Black Panther. Spoilers. And this is my pastor's kid, Nathan. I mean, let's lower this down so you can see this beautifulness. It is gorgeous. Look, he even drew a casted shadow. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, and then this is like my first mermaid sketch that was actually a traditional mermaid sketch um, in this book. So I know back backwards hugs are my favorite. I just thought that was so cute. Then I drew two other doggos. We got Tony and we got Spider-Man. I just thought it was cute. Like I forgot Great Pyrenees and a Border Collie because that just seemed to match their personalities. And this one is from a a scrawler, scrawler, scrawler box video. And as you can see, if you watched that video or if you haven't, these are super shiny pens. I love them. Uh, here's a picture of Ariel and Flounder. I didn't finish it. This is watercolor once again. I didn't finish it just because I didn't finish lining. Aha, now he's got Lumia. Now, what's going on is I started doing like a bunch of the concepts art from Beauty and the Beast because I wanted to get, I wanted to draw pictures for like the cast member seeing that this is my last show. This is my last like big thing that I'm doing with them and it's Beauty and the Beast is the last show that I did so I thought it would be cute to give the kids that I've worked with for so long some doodles of the enchanted characters that they are. So I've got Lumiere. I've got Beastie Boy right here. And then I've got Cogsworth. And then I've got Mrs. Potts and Chip. And then I got Cogsworth again. And then I've got Mrs. Potts and Chip again. And then I start a Gaston. I need to go ahead and line him so I can give it to my favorite Gaston. And then I started Belle and I need to line her and I need to give that to... Both Bells are gonna get a picture, but I mean, 
I'm at the end. I've got one piece of paper left. And so I wanted to show you guys, that is actually, that's it. I wanted to show you guys my sketchbook because I've torn out so many pieces that as you can see, the binding's starting to come out. But that's my own fault. It's not the sketchbook's fault, it is my own fault. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this sketchbook tour. I can't wait to buy a new sketchbook and break into it this summer. I'm pretty sure I'd fill it up by the summer, but I actually had this at the beginning of, I got this for Christmas. So it's a good five month sketchbook and it's just, there it go, all full. But yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Bye.